And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Teamer Monsters. So this is a donation deck, as you can tell over here, for us to try out, uh, which we're going to be doing not in the ranked part. Now we've been doing ranked for the last little bit here, but we're going to go over to the regular constructed event, our uh, traditional constructed event that we like to play here, and see if we can get to five wins before we get to losses. So the point of this deck here is to basically play Nikki of the Old Ways and add a ridiculous amount of mana with Nikki of the Old Ways. So it means that every land you tap for mana, you get to produce two mana, basically. So all your lands double up, um, but you can't cast non-creature spells. So as you can see here, the only non-creature spell we have in the main deck is Vivian Reed because it's Vivian Reed, right? Vivian is just uh, so good. But if we're going to have a whole lot of mana, the best mana sink, of course, as we as we know, is Hydroid Crisis. Just the best mana sink. So we're going to be playing those. But besides that, we have some other good ones. We have Biogenic Ooze. We can make a just an army of Ooze creature tokens. So that's pretty cool. And we have this little spicy number, Mystic Archaeologist, that allows us to draw two cards for five mana. Um, and when we have when we're doubling up our mana, five mana is kind of trivial. So this will be pretty interesting to see if we can, you know, maybe get to like a stalled out battlefield state where we can just uh, get really far ahead of our opponent by drawing a ton of cards with Archaeologist. Sideboard wise, it looks like we're worried about control decks. We got five big uncounterable threats with Carnage Tyrants and Niv Mizzets. We have some Thrashing Brontodons, which are which do double duty good against like Mono Red. Also good against uh, Wilderness Reclamation there. We got some Rex Ages also to destroy some Wilderness Reclamations. Got a couple in the gates. And four control decks and some Harpooners for Mono Blue. So here we go. Teamer Archaeologist. Or Teamer Monsters. <laughs> Sorry. You're saying the Archaeologist is, is amazing? I bet it is. I'm, I think that one's going to be a, a pretty good card, honestly. Yeah, this one looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, this was... You had made this deck, and this one... This one looks fun. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it plays. Yeah, we were playing... We were playing those those three in the ranked queues, and uh, basically the, the Mono Red League just took a while, and so we only played four matches, and we won all four, but they were just longer games, and we stopped there. Please don't kill my land or elves, mono red opponent. Don't do it. Five five is really big against red. Five five is pretty big. We got to stay alive to get there, though. Maniacal Rage. Chan creatures plus two plus two can't block. I don't think that lava runner wanted to block anyway. What? Well, I don't have any removal, so that's just like the perfect card against me, basically. I'm gonna hopefully just draw another Hydroid Crisis. But I feel like I need this blocker here. Hmm. Yeah, Hawkeye. Okay. 
So I'm going to play Nikia to chump block, and then next turn I can play Nikia plus Incubation Druid. And hopefully the Incubation Druid can chump block the Lava Runner at that point. Hopefully. Okay, that's... We, ha we have a chance. We have a chance. If we get to untap with Nikia somehow, we have a chance. Drew the perfect card. Okay. Okay. Looks like we get to attack with, or we get to untap with Krasis, or with Nikia. Ooh, great draw. Untap land. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So Krasis for 12. Wow. 5-5 five, five is pretty big for Mono Red. That was me five minutes ago. Speaking of pretty big for Mono Red. Not sure if I'm supposed to attack with the Nikio the old ways there. A little worried about like some more hasters. You can just have the cards. You you can have all the cards. You just can't cast them because you don't have enough mana. Yeah, Flying Galta plus Sphinx's Revelation. <laughs> that was beautiful. Just the Flying Galta. <laughs> yeah, Flying Galta, draw six, gain six. Man, if we could find another one. Can we be that greedy? Can we draw another one off the top? So, what are we doing this turn? Well, we're attacking with Hydroid Crisis. I guess I'm attacking with Nikia also. Because we're we going to make a lot of blockers. I guess I should have just attacked with Nikia last turn. I don't know. So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Play that. Play this. Um, I hope they don't mess this up and just use two green. I hope they don't mess this up. Hooray!
So all those cards they have, they didn't have any lands last turn. Like, they didn't play land. And they had all those cards. They probably just have... So, like, we could die here. Like, they could have four burn spells that kill us. Like that. You know, like, Wizards, Lightnings, and Shocks, and... Skewers. Please don't actually kill us, though. Oh, so close. Put us down to two. So close. That was epic. That was epic, Hawkeye. Good job. Wow. Here, attack the pen. Don't attack me. All right, what do we want? We want Rexage. We want Brontodon. Definitely Brontodon. Definitely Brontes and Negates. Archaeologist can come on out. With how it dies to Chain World and all that kind of stuff. Um, Vivian is good against Frenzy, but maybe we just take out Vivian. If we have Niv Mizzet, I may play a Rex. Yeah, we'll play a Rex Age. Let's just do this. Because, you know, we saw like those enchantments, those maniacal rages. So, at the very least, I like, I want to be able to have answers for those maniacal rages. Keep. Because our opponent's kind of playing a different version. Yeah, like they're just kind of playing like their own mono red deck. I don't even know what this card does. Goblin Motivator. Target creature gains haste until end of turn. Dude, that card's not bad. That's not bad. What? But. You. But. Ugh. All right, well, we should be at 16. Spiders from Mars. Hawkeye doesn't like spiders from Mars. We stabilize. I should definitely be shocking the incubation druid. Go down to six. I don't really like six. That's not a good life total to to have. Five is even worse. Can't can't win this. They have another burn spell, we're dead. And it looks like they do. Guess I should have let them draw the cards again. Is 
Is it burn spell? No? No burn spell? Yep. Huh. Striker, that's weird. Had chance. Could have let them just draw off of. Steam vent sulfur falls. Ooh. Don't need that land or off on turn two, and we'll just have the incubation druid on turn two. Yeah, where was the crisis? Or just a negate or a frilled mystic. Uh, those would have done the job as well. Yeah, all you need are some goblin motivators. Not gonna done at work. Just get some goblin motivators. Light up. Get this stage litten up. Litten up. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Cheers. So we'll have Nikia next turn. Can we draw a Krasis? We did the game one. Can we draw Krasis? Crasis, crasis. Hmm. That one's a little awkward. That one's a little awkward. I think I want to chill for a minute here. You call this deck Teamer Old Ways instead of Teamer Monsters? That is Nikia's title. Nikia is of the old ways. I don't even know what that means. What does it mean of the of the old ways? The hooves of the raised boar will trample the weak and their city to dust. So Domery was working for Bolas, huh? And so like the Gruul clan is was working for Bolas. The old ways where gather a lot of mana and smash. That's not like some good old ways. If I attack with the Incubation Druid 2, am I dead on the swing back? Yeah, Domber didn't realize that Bolus's plan was just to kill all the Planeswalkers, and the Domri was 
just raising havoc for Bolas. I could play a new Nikia to play defense. Maybe next turn. Of course, we're going to activate this Incubation Druid. It'll be at 3-5. We'll block the, like, the Viachino Pyromancer. So it was a religion expecting the apocalypse due to Ilhard the Raised Boar. Hmm. So that was the name of the religion was the Old Ways. And they were expecting the apocalypse. What you got over there? Decline. Oh, don't tap the druid! We just played four matches, kind of time constraint wise, because we were doing ranked matches, so we weren't doing. Um, weren't doing a league, so it wasn't just win five or lose two with that with that one. Ugh. I probably don't want to block these anyway with the three two. It's not not that bad. Probably not so bad anyway. Okay. All right, we got two blockers for our two creatures. Let's see if they have seven points of burn. No, nah, let's be let's be real. I would have blocked. Yeah, we yeah. I would have blocked that three two. Because yeah, big difference between being at nine or being at seven. It's more difficult, but not impossible. You know, two wizards, lightnings, and a shock, or you know. Basically a shock plus two skewers or two shocks. Basically three total of shock, skewer, and wizard's lightning. That's what our opponent needs. They are two shock, two wizard's lightning down already. They have the other one. They're taking their time. Did not have the last one. So close. So close. But we got there. GG's. All right, Team of Monsters 1 and 0.
Yeah. So, so close. Ooh. I guess this is a keep even though we have Hinterland Harbor that comes into play tapped. I don't think this is a mulligan though. Hespa. Hespa. With the growth chamber guardian against the control deck here let's get a creature that can get some damage out there attack The good news is that our Growth Chamber Guardian uh, replaced itself. Bad news, of course, is that it's dead. And we had no pressure there. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, they definitely think our opponent was waiting for us to adapt. Yeah, I can. Shekel. Yep, I certainly can. You know, just you just have to give me your 75 that you want to play. And I can take a look at the metagame and make a cyborg guide there. No problem. We paid life because that's we only have two green sources, um, so we need to like not like these other lands don't tap our green. So to, in order to play the two spells, we had to shock in our second green source. All right, build your own. Uh, must be wrathed threat here Have we gotten all of the Growth Chamber Guardians now? Yeah. Let's go with this. Dang. Um, I won't. I won't be able to do it tonight, but um, I can do it tomorrow or or the next day or or something. You know, like. Basically, you let me know when when you'd like it by, but it won't be tonight. Reverse. After after I get done streaming, I just kind of veg out and get get a little food and catch up on like the baseball games that happened that day or anything like that, and then get some sleep. Let's go with the double growth chamber guardian. So we have two threats that both can kill to fairy here. Okay, so yeah, so if there's no rush or anything, yeah, just keep up the pace. Basically, whenever you know, yeah. 
It doesn't take me too long to do them, it just takes a couple hours. So hoping they don't have two removal spells. Attack. Please don't have two removal spells. No. Hooray. We will meet again. All right, so now, <clears throat> now I'm going to kind of wait for our opponent to answer these things. So they had one removal spell. But they did not have a second. But basically, I think just playing the crisis there, not too I necessary. Heard you had some dead things if that like to they just untap dead. and find the Kai's wrath. Was that dear to you? Sure. Nope. Didn't find one. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna make myself scarce. All right. Five five graces. Not a bad trade. Ooh. Arch of Orozco with Nikki of the Old Ways? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Boo. No. No. Ooh, I was going to cast such a big crisis the next turn. No. Ugh. Stop. Alright, so this is eight. Let's just get it out in case they drew. Yeah, let's let's just get this. So we got eight. In case they drew like a thought rage that was gonna take it. Let's just draw our four cards. So many chemistry insights. So little time. How many crises have we gone through? Two. That's good. It's only two. We gotta charge up our draws. Ah, that did not do what I was hoping it would do. <laughs> no! Syncopate! Card I was not expecting. But yeah, Nikia plus Arch. Pretty nice. Definitely just drawing as many cards as possible with Arch. Wow, getting rid of Search for Escanta? What do you. That is definitely better than two random cards. What do you. Why are you getting rid of Search for Escanta? Like. Hey, no, you don't have to be worried about getting excited. It's all good. Sweet. All right, test spell. You got a counter spell? All right, let's make sure we can pay for... Make sure we can pay for syncopate. 
Ephraim. No one knows the wilds like I do. I guess I could have looked. How many absorbs have they gone through? One, two, three. I've already gone through three absorbs. Maybe I should have just thrown the Vivian Reed out first. Yeah, we're playing Teamer Monsters. <laughs> Opponent is kind of playing that. If I lose one life, I lose the game. Have to kill everything I've immediately. Seen things that would break someone like you. Cannot lose one single life. You know, I'm, I'm going to pay two life just for them. So, Come if I activate Archer Araska, I tap out. And right there, tapping out. Uh, could, like, if they just drew Contempt, they could Contempt the Vivian. And... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can still activate that in Cast of Pearl Mystic. And I want this Vivian to ultimate. So... Yep, we hit them one time with a creature, and that's it. They blew up. We had the Vraska ultimate in play. The four mana Vraska. All right, negates, Carnage Tyrants, Vivi or Niv Mizzets. Oh yeah, we have Mystic Archaeologist in our deck. I forgot about that card. That card's cool. All right, welcome back, Boot. We're playing against Esper Control. We're up a game. I am unfortunately going to be boarding out my Nikia the old ways. Yeah, I think they get boarded out. And uh, I don't know what else to cut. Like maybe Incubation Druid, I guess. Is Druid better than Frilled Mystic? Or sorry, is, is Druid sorry is Dru Druid better than Landwerf because of Frilled Mystic? And Niv and Niv Mizzet? Maybe it is. Yeah, our record today has been real good. Besides, you know, we had the stumble of Sultai Sanity earlier. But we are on a roll after that. Switching decks. Mulligan. So if I play Growth Chamber Guardian, there's just a, a really good chance that it dies, right? And then we don't get to actually activate it and don't get to replace itself. I think I can just sit back. I don't think we need to be in any rush. I don't think our opponent's going to be in any rush either. Yep, look at them over there just <clears throat> sitting on all their counter magic and removal spells and wanting me to play something so they could kill it. But I'm not playing anything, so they're just going to have to go to discard. So I guess our plan now is just to not play anything at all. Look at that. See, they just have to discard cast down. So we just hit land drops, don't play anything. Have them discard a card. Get our, our own card advantage here this way. No, 
Okay. So now we're forced to do something. That's something get the getting this ooze on the battlefield and an incubation druid to make Krasis better. The good news is like honestly, Thief is not very good when you don't have any mana. Because, you know, you, if you're sitting there with three lands, you can only play one thing a turn. They already have a million cards in hand. So why do they draw another one? Because since Thief doesn't give you lands, I'm really not that scared of this Thief right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we got good power on the battlefield, good um, good power they have to respect here. Next turn we can crisis for 12. No, my niv midget. Trying to decide which one to kill. All right. Attack. Hmm. I can pay for your syncopate. Thank you. All right, played around the syncopate. Worked out. All right, so now they Kaya's Wrath. They got another Kai's Wrath. Ooh, Biogenic Ooze is nice. That's a nice one. Oh. Guess not nice enough. Esper Control opponent scooped it up. And we are 2 and 0. Oh. Even though it's a little jumpy, I can't really reset because I think there's like an update right now. So I'm going to finish out this league before we do this update here. Not nice enough. There we go. GG's. Oh, Mono Red Crisis is basically ready to go up on YouTube. I just got to link the deck list.
Keep. Bottom. I just put that incubation druid on the bottom. Alright, almost done here. There we go. So definitely playing another incubation druid. Um, do I want to play the mystic archaeologist also? Let's do it. Alright, draw a couple cards. Don't need to play into the counter magic. Let's just keep filling our hand here. That's good. Get our land drops. Vladimus says, thanks for all the wonderful and helpful content. You are welcome, Vladimus. Thank you so much for the bits. Yeah, thank you very much. Land? Oh, yes. Rewarded. We're drawing two cards before and hitting our land drops with that. Get How the Searcher's Kanta out of here. <laughs> Get that out of here. Get that out of here. And now Vivian can find a Nikia of the old ways. Not bad for a mouse. Yeah, not bad. I've lost so much already. I won't lose The more. most disappointing card in this deck so far? There hasn't really been one. Yeah, there honestly hasn't been one. They've all, like, done really well. Crisis. Balance comes. Hmm. So I was hoping to find Frilled Mystic to be able to protect Vivian there and although like getting a land is enticing i should just i should just take the phoenix you know like just just take the the cards that are good just take the, the just have enough good cards and hopefully the opponent runs out of stuff. So they did keep something on top really quickly with that Thought Erasure. So it, it kind of feels like this is a Teferi in their hand that can deal with the Vivian. Or, you know, maybe it's like another Contempt. Kind of feels like it's something like that. Ooh. Love it. Vivian's still here. Do we get Thrill I've Mystic? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hmm. I kind of feel like I'm just supposed to take the land. Hmm. This is a Nikia deck. We can't play Nikia and Phoenix.
You'd grab the ooze. Ooze is better in this matchup than Nikia is. I'm taking the land to make Krasis better. So I'm gonna go with here. And then playing a threat in Phoenix that doesn't make their Kaya's Wrath better. But, you know, you can still answer a one for one with like a counter spell or anything like that. Yeah, so it seemed like they might have just put the absorb on top there. They're not gonna actually let me ultimate this Vivian, right? Uh, I can no longer stand by and watch. Time is much more malleable than people think. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Hmm. I wish I could Biogenic Ooze and Vivian this turn. Very good. Um, I mean, this is this is my my playlist. Here, we're we're just switching songs right now. I can tell you the last couple that we just played. This was uh, "Tidal Wave" by Portugal the Man. And then This was Cough Syrup by Young the Giant. And this was Wasteland by 10 Years. And then one more. This was Begin Again by Purity Ring. So hopefully that helps. But yeah, there's the, the link to the playlist in there. All right, this is where we're at. All right, so we got game one against Esper again. Let's bring in the Carnage Tyrant, the Niv Mizzets, the Negates. Cut Nikia, cut Llanowar Elf. That's what we did last time, it worked out. Let's try it again. <clears throat> no, I don't think they saw Nikia at all. I don't think this opponent did. I don't think we saw it. We didn't show it that whole game. <laughs> You're welcome, Brian. Happy to help. Thanks for thanks for being in here watching the stream. Yeah, this deck's been really impressive so far. I've been liking this. We've been doing real, you know, real good. Have we we just lost that one game against Mono Red, but won the other two and winning all three games against Esper so far? Doesn't get much better than that. Okay, no, no, wrong button. Ugh. Okay, Stop. and welcome everybody. Stop. Our opponent's like, what's going on here? There we go. 
No, I was adding the Sultai Sanity deck to the the playlist that I have for Arena Ranked that I started yesterday. Because I forgot to put it on the, the playlist earlier, and so it started the video on YouTube, you know, so I was just adding that video to the playlist. We have the question again of whether or not to play Growth Chamber Guardian or wait. I kind of want to play it this time. Man, this is a tough choice. Let's do it. Because <clears throat> basically, if if our opponent had like a Thief of Sanity next turn, plus like some removal, it could be kind of problematic. Ooh, that worked out really well for us. No removal spell from them. And I don't want to activate it on my turn because they could just be holding the cast down and waiting for me to activate. It's possible. So I want to wait and activate on their turn. All right, not so bad for us. Kind of the same thing that happened last game. They just playing the three lands, don't, didn't have the fourth land drop. Sure. I mean, that's just... It's like, yeah, you get you get a hit in with the Thief, but... Just like we talked about last time, you can't get lands from Thief. And so... An opponent that's stuck on lands. So I think I'm just going to have Frill Mystic up here. I mean, I could play Vivian and kill their Thief. But their Thief isn't doing very much right now. Let's have Frill Mystic. Whatever they want to play, we'll counter it. And they should wrap the game up. Like, they have to pass. Like, they have to... Like, they can't play anything. They have to just... Um, leave Thieves and to block and pass. Otherwise, if they play anything on their turn, they die. Because we just counter it. But then if they, if they do pass, we're just not playing the Frilled Mystic. And we'll just attack and make them jump. And that is a 3 and 0. Oh. Creatures are a little bigger than Thief here. I don't... Like, that's two times in a row. I mean, they're both stuck on lands, but... When I'm playing Esper, when I'm playing Control Deck, I don't like bringing in Thief against decks that have bigger creatures than mine like when you when you need kaya's wrath you just don't want thief of sanity just doesn't work out okay We are three and O. Oh. This is a pretty greedy keep. We don't have anything. We don't do anything until turn four. 
But I do like having these two lands, but no, we, we gotta ship it. Alright, well, the sixth card hand that doesn't do anything until turn four, I'll keep, because five cards is kind of rough. But we have good mana. Go, Mystic Archaeologist, go. Please don't get chain whirl whirlered. <laughs> Was that thing like a, a diamond or some kind of jewel? Maybe that was the shock. The Archaeologist got its face too close to the fire. This is a slow mono red hand. We're basically a Nexus deck. <laughs> what do you got over there, Zealous? Our opponent is definitely not over Zealous. They're just the right. In I'm not as zealous. This has got to be like, is it Drake's that just kept a hand without blue mana, right? Would you like to see what's left us? The wilds are my shield. So uh, I feel like if I just played Biogenic, if I would have played Biogenicus there. They would have, you know, shocked it or lightning striked it, and I would have just got a 2-2. Two -two. I, I kind of like Vivian just, you know, uh, accruing more cards for us. And I can kind of sit back. Now we untap, have Frilled Mystic to protect Vivian after this. Oh, it is Mono Red. Well, then. No one knows the wilds like I do. Well, then it's Biogenic Ooze time. All ooze, all the time. Ooze this turn, ooze next turn, ooze the turn after that. We're going to have so many of these. That our okay. opponent's going to be asking, so whose claws. turn is it anyway? And we'll be like, it's ours. To play more biogenic. You can't stop nature. Ooh. Or, I cast this Nikki of the Old Ways. No, deck, don't. Ugh, leave me green mana. Ugh. Boo. Why would why would Sulphur Falls be the land to leave? Like, look at my hand. How would Sulphur Falls be? Like, you know what? We're gonna let's let's leave a, a land. It's probably the Sulphur Falls. That's got to be the one. Put up the parking lot. Ah, I've seen squirrels hit harder. Let's do this again. Well, I was just going to play two Biogenic Uses. But... Eh, I'm still going to.
Double the ooze. Get the faster concession. What? Wonder what their hand was like. It did not seem like they were doing very much. Yeah, it did not seem like they were doing very much. So we, I think all we did last time was just take out the archaeologist for a couple of negates. Uh, no, let's get Lebrontodon in there. Yeah, we need those. Do some Duncan. <clears throat> yeah, maybe a bunch of lava coils. You don't usually see lava coil in mono red, though. So it's kind of odd that our opponent had it. Like, are they like a like a mid range deck with like supposed to have like status statue and stuff, and they just had. A bunch of like those kind of cards they couldn't cast. Are they like Jund, Jun Chain Whirler or something? Are they playing Mono Red Crasis? I wonder what they had. Doesn't look good. Okay, yeah. Alright, so you play Lava Coil in your red aggro deck. Called it Jund Chain Whirler. Jund Death Whirler is what we were playing against, and they just had bad mana. Our curve is really high, as we've seen our last four hands. We haven't had anything in, our, in any hand that costs less than four mana. That can happen. So if they activate, we activate. We take the hit for four first. But I'll leave my... I'm going to leave it back on defense this next turn. You know, obviously, we are dying first here. And I'm going to activate it right now before they have the ability to shock it. Yeah, Chain Whirler status combo. That's, going to be, that's really good against me. Yeah, the Growth Chamber Guardian Arms Race, huh? I haven't been a part of one of these before. I guess I'm going to Krasis for four next turn. Instead of playing Biogenicus. I think. Because Ooze makes a couple of three threes. Especially one three three that I'm not blocking at all. Alright, well obviously... Obviously we're playing Ooze now.
this is kind of problematic. I think I'm, I'm going to be cutting Frilled Mystics for the last game. I think they're pretty slow in this matchup. I guess I could have Frilled Mystic here. So let's, yeah, let's use it here. Races for five. Nikia of the old ways. We need some old ways up in this game. Next turn we can go Nikia plus Thrashing Brontodon. Get some good D there. And then the following turn, as long as we untap with Nikia and our life total and everything like that. We can have a major crisis on hand for the opponent. I know Incubation Druid would help us mana wise, but not really, because you know, just it just make it an odd number. Nikia makes it even anyway. I guess I could have just played it a bio. I could have just activated Biogenic Ooze and made another Ooze to start growing. But I like getting thrash Thrashing Bronze on here. Alright, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. <laughs> Let's get. <coughs> Our Sphinx Revelation slash Galta in play. We didn't even draw a single land. We have to go discard? That's a ripoff. Yeah, medium sized crisis. It was just Galta sized. Let's get a flying Galta. Plus Sphinx's Revelation. <laughs> it worked last time. Let's try it again. Alright, there's a land. We finally found a land. All right, four and O oh for Teamer Monsters. Getting some big crises here. All right, we have not played a final boss in a little bit, so let's go final boss playlist. Get your final boss emotes in the chat. We have an extra life as well to help defeat this final boss. Um, yeah, great record today. Besides that one league with Sultai Sanity, besides that, 12 and 1 in the last 13. <clears throat> How come Nikia is not in the metagame? Is the question. People don't experiment too much with things. There's not a whole lot of people that experiment with stuff. People just kind of play like the same decks. 
that other people play. Or, like, you know, it's just, you know, you see a whole lot of, like, the same kind of decks here. Is, is Nikia, like, one of the best things you can be doing? Probably not. But I, I feel like it could see more play than, than what it does. Because as we've seen, Nikia with Hydroid Crisis is some ridiculous stuff. All right, Yud says this is the nemesis. This is our Yud says this is the matchup that he hates the most is Mono Blue. So let's see how we do. This one, the Teamer Monsters donation deck here. We're we're back in like the regular queue. We're not doing the we're not doing ranked with that, but those other ones we did ranked. We moved up. We're in Platinum 2 now. So yeah, we're on our way to Mythic. We're in Platinum 2. Uh, wait. Um. Just counter this. Hey, Zealous. GG's. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that second game there. That was rough. Okay, so I need... Uh... Oh, I can't I can't cast Nikia and have Frill Mystic up. Whoops. Well, I'll just play it anyway. Ow. We could really use a Krasis. That was a card that we needed to draw the last turn. Krasis would have definitely resolved the last turn. Man, and I missed one point of damage earlier. I guess one point of damage, they're still only... That's not game, but one point they could have been at one. The turn that I, I tapped the land or off because I thought I was going to be able to have Frill Mystic up. Wow. Six lands in play, four other cards in hand, and they just had nothing? Could have just been negates and spell pierces? I guess it was just a bunch of negates and spell pierces. All right, bunch of harpooners in. Archaeologist out. Hmm. Don't usually like Frilled Mystic in this matchup, but it did some work for us that game. If I just don't play negate, what if I just don't play a single spell? It's 
do this. Actually, I kind of like this. I like blinking. <clears throat> Completely blinking. Negate and Spell Pierce. So Rexage does kill an Obsession, but it does nothing else besides that. The 2-1 body doesn't do anything in combat. It just does just nothing. It's All it is is 3 mana, kill a Curious Obsession. And it doesn't do anything else. And I don't... That's just a pretty narrow card, and that's that's an expensive card as well at three mana for just killing a one drop, like a one mana enchantment. Not the battle I want to be fighting. You know, we can certainly get, get punked out with these kind of games of them having the Curious Obsession and everything, but that's... Chances to take. I'm, I'm going to be just dropping haymakers, forcing them to counter all these things. Missed the land drop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, what can we do here? One, two, three, four, five. So I can go Nikia plus Harpooner. Now, if we draw a Krasis, we're golden. If we don't, we got two really good threats here. Is there any reason to not play Krasis for eight? I could do Krasis for four and play Phoenix. Yeah, I think I just do Krasis for eight. Resolved. Oh, dang. Opponent's in trouble. Wait. Entrancing Melody? Uh, Entrancing Melody. Hmm. Well, they didn't Melody.
play this thing. And then I'm going to play Carnage Tyrant. Big ol' monsters. And this is why I was saying we don't need we don't need reclamation stage, we just need big monsters. Nikio the old ways. Coming through. And uh, I think I think we're gonna get this. I think we got this. What do you think, Hawkeye? You think we got this? We got this. That's a 5 0, Hawkeye. 5 0. Victory fanfare. Get all them gold, all them gems. And uh, what a way to end the stream tonight. What a way to end the stream tonight. Team of Monsters did its thing. You know, I, I kind of liked what we did there against Mono Blue of just like not really caring too much about their spells or their curious obsessions and just slamming a bunch of big monsters out there. We just found a spot to resolve Nikia um, after a Tempest Gin and... Then we just had so much mana, we got to, got to just play so much, so much stuff. Where do you get Hawkeye? Hawkeye was a stray cat um, on my grandmother's farm in Iowa. He's named after the Iowa Hawkeyes. He's got this short little stubby tail because part of his tail actually froze off in the winter when he was a little kitten. Because you're just a little barn kitten. But now he's the best and he's all happy. He gets to be here. And he's like, why have I not fed you yet? Well, I'm going to go feed you here in a little bit. We had to just keep talking about Teamer Monsters. Uh, we didn't get to do too much with the Mystic Archaeologist, but it was pretty cool. We had that one game where it was clutch against Esper, um, you know, playing this early on turn three. We had Mana Creature on one, Mana Creature on two, play this on three, and then activate it. I don't, I don't remember. No, that doesn't sound right. I don't know. But we played it really early, activated it, helped us hit our land drops, and then they tapped out and wrathed our board but then we got more cards we got our land drops and then we got to play vivian so yeah good league great stream yeah thanks aaron yeah so thanks everybody for watching uh with teamer monsters here um yeah that's it for this one so if you're watching this video on youtube later uh thanks for watching and i will see